Hello and welcome to another Watch Report video review. My name is James Stacy, and today we're taking a look at the Helsin Shark Diver 42. This is a, a dive watch from uh, the very successful independent, uh, like one of the microbrew brands, Helsin watches. Um, from the Shark Diver line, which includes uh, a 45 millimeter version. Uh, the number 42 in this one's name suggests a 42 millimeter case, which is 14.5 millimeters tall. 51.5 millimeters lug to lug, so from the top to the bottom of its rather pronounced lugs. It's powered by uh, Miyota 9015 automatic movement that allows for a uh, 40 hour power reserve, it's 24 joules, and it's uh, basically a, an Asian equivalent of an ETA 2824 uh, developed by the Miyota company under citizen leadership. Uh, you get an automatic helium escape valve on the 9 o'clock side. Um, the weight of the watch is uh, pretty pronounced. If you leave all the links in, which I don't, I removed four from my wrist, uh, you're looking at 253 grams uh, with a fully uh, fitted bracelet. You get 22 millimeter lugs, so it'll suit a number of straps. It includes a nice black rubber strap, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. 500 meter water resistant, as Helsin uh, has made this watch to be just as good at desk diving as it would uh, actually diving. Um, kind of the mission statement of their company is for dive enthusiasts. You get a sapphire crystal with an internal AR coating. The sapphire crystal is nice and flat, definitely to my liking. The bracelet sports a fold over clasp and a dive extension. This model here you can see is quite obviously blue, but you can also get black, black with orange markers, and uh, with a different movement, with the Eta movement, you can get white with light blue uh, markers. So let's go into some details about the uh, build quality and just some of the finer details of the Helsin Shark Diver 42. So there's a lot to like about the Helsin Shark Diver 42. Excellent uh, size range for uh, a nice tool dive watch. Um, and, and for those of you who have commented that we only review black dialed watches, voila, we have here a blue dialed Helsin, which uh, Peter at Helsin Watches was kind enough uh, to, uh, to supply for review. Uh, it's a lovely watch. The color is not uh, shiny or blingy in any way, but it's extremely bright. And uh, even for myself, uh, someone who doesn't generally like blue dialed watches or doesn't prefer them to their black counterparts, I absolutely love uh, this blue. It works perfectly on the bezel, um, and you get the very large off-white hands and markers and bezel accents, all of which glow excellently, and I'll show you in just a moment. You get Fantastic finishing on the case here, very sharp edges. Um, the finishing along these crown guards actually feels uh, like the crisp edge of a Lego block. It's a funny comparison to make, but that's literally how nice it is. Uh, you get this nicely large, oversized signed crown, very easy to use. The bezel is uh, light and easily gripped. It has a lovely jimping on the side here. And it's a very sure bezel. Um, very much a neutral feel, easy to get to the mark that you want. And, uh, and it is rather uh, very strong feeling. The bracelet on the Shark Diver is fitted with screws across its entire length. You'll need two screwdrivers to actuate these sets to change the sizes. Once it's sized, I don't think that should be a problem, but it is cumbersome to do in the first place. And uh, if it's not something that you're used to, I thoroughly recommend taking it to a watchmaker or uh, your local service point. Uh, where they connect to the case, on the other hand, is done with uh, a hex key, which they include in the packaging, I'll show you the tool now as it's a little bit of a different design. So this is the tool that you get and um, by all guesses it looks like you'd actually need a second one because you need to actuate both sides of that screw set. Um, but in actuality this unscrews and there you have uh, the two sides that are needed to uh, clamp in and uh, the fit is excellent. It's actually uh, a positive enough hold that you could um, you can actually draw the pin out of its set um, with the ends and this is excellent for storage uh, later on and a handy little tool um, making strap changes quite a bit easier okay so here's a closer look at the loom on the shark diver um, as on par with what we expect from other reviews we've read online of the Helsin uh, watches the loom is excellent uh, one of the few competitors we've seen for the amazing Armida A1. You get the fully loomed bezel. It's just per
perfect. Uh, the quality of the loom is very even across the surface. There, you don't get a lot of bright points or uh, dark spots. And uh, we've been really impressed uh, with the watches now coming out with the fully loom bezel. And this is absolutely no exception. A uh, great watch, excellent longevity thanks to the very large markers and hands. And uh, obviously the C3 color, the light green, is just a crowd pleaser. Um, if you buy this watch, you will be very happy with the loom. It outperforms uh, the majorities of Seikos that we've ever taken a look at. And as I said, it's one of the few that competes at the top ranks of the... Uh, of kind of the indie or micro brew dive brands. So let's take a look at a wrist shot. Okay, and here's the Shark Diver 42 on wrist. As you can see, the 42 millimeter case size really fits a 7.5 inch wrist like my own. The uh, bracelet is very comfortable. The large lugs uh, could be uncomfortable, but thanks to a domed case back, which actually extends ever so slightly from the bottom of the case, it lifts those edges off um, of, of the surface of your wrist. And uh, overall, the watch is quite comfortable, but it does wear, as you can see, a bit on the tall side thanks to a rather pronounced bezel. Now, with a tool dive watch, with a dive watch of this style, uh, basically, using tool dive as more of a style than anything else, um, it wears perfectly for what it is. Now, uh, the Miyota 9015 uh, model retails from Helsin. For $599, um, we purposely opted for that model because we've reviewed plenty of ETA 2824 models. And the few watches I've had, this Helsin included, that use the Miyota 9015 um, are equal, in my opinion, in every way to the ETA, unless you really want to have a Swiss made movement. If that's important, you pay a $100 premium on this specific watch, which is still a pretty good buy at $699. And as I said before, you can get it in uh, blue as you see here, or uh, black with the uh, off-white markers, uh, black with orange markers, or, and it's only available in the ETA 2824 powered version, a white with a light blue uh, marker and dial design. Um, all are great choices. This is a very well-made watch, and given its price point just slightly below kind of the standard price range of all indie dive watches, it should definitely be on your list of considerations if you generally prefer a slightly smaller dive watch, or if you're looking for a great upgrade um, to something from a Seiko line to one of these indie brands, this is roughly the same size as what you'd expect from a, a Seiko SKX007, and it's in the same size range as a Seiko Monster. For Watch Report, my name is James Stacey, and this has been our review of the very nice Helsin Shark Diver 42.